Okay, so we are doing another hive check and it looks like they have really used up a lot of their pollen patty. Go ahead and move that out of the way. It's got paper on it, but they just go ahead and tear that off and then dump it outside the hive. They're very tidy. And these are the bees that we have on top. It doesn't look like a ton of bees in the hive until we start to pull out the frames. So I'm going to take out some frames now. Last week I had to scrape down a lot of the excess burr comb that was up in the corner here because they had built it out too big and it looks like they've got that all put back now. I left the wax in the hive for them to reuse which they'll sometimes do and it looks like they did not reuse it so I'll remove that today. This is a full comb here that probably has some brood in it. This one is strictly honey and pollen it looks like so this is just for their food stores and if you look up close you can see plenty of sticky honey in these cells here if we can get a close-up in there so there are little ladies working hard filling those with honey then I'm gonna take out another comb and check and see how we're doing. It looks like it's almost a full comb in here, so this is good news. Okay, so here is an example of burr comb, where it is built out too far. I don't know if you can tell that that is sticking out much farther than the other comb over here as well. And I am a little concerned that that, let's see if we can get that a little bit better shot that this one that's sticking out, I'm hoping they're not trying to make queen cells. I think this is just for honey. I'm gonna scrape it down a little bit just to even it up so that we don't end up with these oversized burr combs. The other half of the burr comb is in here and it tore apart when I pulled apart my, my uh, frames here. So we'll clean that up now. Okay, so I am trying to catch the honey that is pouring down here now because I don't really want to waste it. But these silly bees are making this comb too big and it's gonna, everything's gonna get stuck together and really make a mess of the hive. So I'm tidying up a little bit and also squishing the bees in the other one because I'm holding it too tightly. So I've caught some honey here the bees are hanging on tightly. I am going to have to clean this tool off somehow and I bet you can guess how that's going to happen. So we're going to go away for a minute and see how this honey tastes. Interesting. These are obviously cells where brood has already matured and hatched and the coloration is very different on these older cells than on the new pulled comb. Um, they're kind of a brownish color. Whereas the, the new comb when they first made it was almost a pure white. So um, this is one of the older combs and it's already had a lot of babies hatch out of it. And again, I'm filming these just to see if I eventually will spot the queen when I review the videos because there's no way I can stand here and look long enough to find her. And we have um, at this point, these things are getting heavy. This whole frame is completely pulled and filled with all the things that should be. It's very heavy. So we have this one in here is about two thirds of the way. This is all the way. There's nothing built on this side. So we have one, two, three sides not built out here. And then Nope, oh, more burr comb that I have to break down. Just a little. Just a little tug there. Feels so mean to do that to them. Pull it away. Leave the honey for them. They go back and eat the honey. So I'm, I ate a little because, well, it's my bees, but I'm not going to do that anymore now. So we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine full, actually eight full sides pulled. This one over here is not pulled yet. 
So not quite ready to put our second big box on this hive yet. Um, we do that when there are seven full frames pulled, so we're not there yet. It's a chunk of comb and some annoyed bees. And this one got a bunch of honey dropped all over them. This I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I almost suck on it. Covered in honey. So my fellow novice beekeeper, Becky Large Swope, pointed out that at this point now, that these bees are pretty much all new bees. The ones that came in the package with Queen Sophia have reached the end of a bee's typical lifespan. So these are all the babies that Queen Sophia laid and were raised up by the previous bees. And I'm looking here and I see lots of eggs. Um, laid in the cells again right smack in the center at the very bottom which means that Queen Sophia laid those eggs they're not being laid by a laying worker so even though I can't see Sophia I do look back at these videos to see if she is in any of these pictures since I can't spot her just looking myself more burr comb over here this is very frustrating that they keep doing this they're supposed to be tidier but yes, lots, lots more eggs in the cells and plenty of capped brood. So those will be hatching soon. Oops. And some of these that are sticking out a little bit farther, those are sure to be drones. Now this is something I have to do that's kind of awful. Gonna have to put a little stick into those drone, one of those drone cells to see if it's filled with varroa mites because the varroa mites prefer the drone cells. So I pick the ones that are sticking out a little bit more. I'm only gonna do one because it feels like bee aside. But then I find out if I'm gonna actually have to treat the bees for varroa mites or if they're taking care of business pretty well themselves. Okay, whereas 